Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we've got another one. I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. We've got another one from my man, Robert Chudy. And I want to say, this is a special one. He said he packed it to the brim. He would said, um, actually no, what did we talk about? We talked about uh, concussions. We talked about injuries. Um, we talked about panic attacks. Um, you know, he's followed my channel. He's followed all my videos. Uh, he's a really great guy, great supporter of my channel and what I do. And he's decided to send me a box full of goodies. Now, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm going to open it now for everyone to see. <sighs> what have we got here? I'll never get used to this. Well, I'll get used to it, but I'll never get sick of it. Oh, it is packed to the brim. Look at that. Oh, mate. Oh, what are we going to pull out first? The Bills. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Where's he from? He's from Buffalo. Buffalo, New York. Okay. Well, before I do anything, let's chuck this on. Size large XL. Good job. Thank you, mate. Because <laughs> I definitely needed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty damn good to me. What do we got here? Another one. NHL. What is the Buffalo NHL team? New York New York Fitmax Hang on Let's ask my friend Siri Here is a matching video No What is the NHL team from Buffalo? On the 18th of September, the Sabres will be playing the Blue Jackets at The Sabres. The Buffalo Sabres. Well, there you go. So we've got the Buffalo Bills. Or is that the Sabres as well? No. NFL and NHL. Oh, shit! <laughs> Woo! I did see this was a youth. And uh, my head is big. I have a big head, guys. So I don't think that's going to fit. But you know what? I'm going to keep it and put it up on my little shelf that I'm designing right now. I'm going to put every awesome thing that I receive from you guys up on a shelf behind me so that every new video that I make, you can see. It's going to be a cool little interactive thing we've got going on. Okay, two hats. Let's continue. Mafia. Bill's Mafia. Yeah, baby. There we go. Oh, I guess I gotta put it on. Oh, I like that. I like this blue. I do quite like blue. Ah. Back on. Boom! See? Where am I from? Where am I from, guys? I'm from Buffalo, New York. Oh, mate! Oh, fucking hell! Alright, we're definitely going to be kitted out after this. <laughs> stubby, cold, stubby holder? For my next drink? What does it say? La Belt, La Bat Blue, Canadian Pilsner. And we've got something for my little daughter, man. This, oi. What do I look like with these things on? Look at that. That is so cool. I'm going to put that on my daughter and take a picture and show you guys, man. I'm going to post it on my Instagram page. So if you want to follow my Instagram, hit me up at Jacob underscore 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 McDonald. That's where I post on Instagram. I don't post on there very much. In fact, most of my, 
Most of my uh, time and effort has gone from Instagram to YouTube, especially these last few months. So, um, but if you want to see, you know, my life in a more personal note, but if you want to see, you know, portions of my life on a more personal note, then by all means head over to Instagram and follow me there. That is so cool, so cute. Can't wait to put that, put that on my daughter. That is so cool, man. So cute. All right, another one. So this is oh, this is the uh, the Sabers, the New York Sabers. Boom. So I guess, well, I'm guessing. Well, what reaction am I going to do? NHL or NFL? I'm not sure. Oh man. Oh, it's destiny. It's destiny. He's got me the blue, white Bills jumper. That is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Number 27. Oh my god, this thing is absolutely packed to the brim. Wow. Stay there for a second. Look at this shit. Incredible! Incredible, guys! So we got. Hang on. No, 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 no. No. This is your time. So we'll put that right there and continue. What's this? A training singlet? Training top? For her? Ah! Buffalo Sabres girls top. I don't have a girlfriend anymore. What am I going to do? I'll definitely find someone to wear this. My sister maybe. Or I could just keep it. Very cool. Oh, it wouldn't be complete without a flag. The Star Spangled Banner. Let's go, Bills. Let's go, Bills. Yeah, boys. Something like that. <laughs> Fuck, man. This just gets better and better. Seriously. I've got, well, we've got a note here. I'll save that for the end. Oh, man. What is that? <laughs> oh bro, I've got to go to a Bills game now. I've got everything I need. Glasses, pants, a flag, a hat, a t-shirt, a jumper. <laughs> what is this? Zubats.com My Bills pants. Yeah! All right, well, if you insist. I do have clothes on, by the way. <laughs> Incredible. Look at me. Bills. You know, you know what guys, this, this reaction would not be complete without me watching not one particular player. We've done Tredavious White, believe it or not. Um, in the previous video I received that white jersey and I did a reaction on him. Now we've got the home... This is, this is so nice. <sighs> Anyways, this reaction is going to be one of those ones by NFL Films about the... Um, fans and their relationship with the team. Alright? I'm going to wear my gear, I've got my pants, I've got my top. I'm li I am definitely, most definitely, going to wear these to a game. No doubt in my mind. Buffalo, New York. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming.
Is it Buffalo, New York? I don't even know if it is. I think it is. But that means that there's the New York Jets, the New York Giants, the Buffalo Bills. Philadelphia is pretty close. The Philadelphia Eagles. I've really got to get a map out and start learning. Anyways. But I can't see properly. <laughs> Actually, sorry guys, one thing. I know I'm all over the place and quite excited, but we do have a letter to read. We've got a letter to read. Alright. Whoa! Look at his writing! It's handwritten! I appreciate that, man. Fuck, man, this is amazing. Alright. Do I read it? I actually asked him before, did he want me to read the, the message? He said, yeah. Jacob, first off, love the channel. Thanks, man. I found it randomly as a suggested video while watching hockey fights. Go figure. I, sus I subscribed at about 10,000 viewers and couldn't get enough. As a shitty outside center in college rugby, it was so refreshing to see a rugby bro see the beauty in both sports like I had. As a shitty outside centre, you can't be, you, you, come on man, come on man. Were you too bit, were you too fat, too slow? Why were you a shitty outside, give, give yourself a break mate. As a outstanding outside centre in college rugby, it was so refreshing to see a rugby bro see the beauty in both sports like I had. It's also fucking awesome to have watched you learn over the months. That's why I did it, man. And I have. I've literally learned this game on camera with all you guys. What it's That's why this community is so sick. I love it. I feel like a proud dad, <laughs> even though I just turned 30. Thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. I feel like a proud son, just having received an awesome Christmas present. Thanks, man. That being said, I welcome you to the Bills Mafia. Thank you. This is not to be taken lightly. Though last year was the team's first playoff berth in 17 years. Nobody on your channel would argue Buffalo Bills fans' passion for our team. Oh my gosh. Before that... By the way, okay, I don't want really to say... I had to watch my first football memories be the Bills lose in four straight Super Bowls. Are you joking? The Bills lost in four straight, so you, you're kidding me. That's impossible. Oh my God. We party and support win or lose. So included are some much needed Bills gear, including the usual hats, glasses, number 27 Tredavious white jersey, and most importantly, Zubars. Staple of the Bills clothing. Well mate, we got some Zubars. Some I had, some I bought, but I'm pumped for you. Also included some Buffalo Sabres NHL gear and some clothing for the missus and little one. Thank you, man. What a fucking legend, bro. For real, keep it up. Your channel is original and gold. Cheers from a football fan, a Buffalonian, and an American. You are a fucking legend. Cheers, Rob Churdy. P.S. Fuck the Pats. <laughs> PPS, look up Bill's comeback versus Oilers. There's a good 9 minute 14 video and a 7 minute 41. I reckon that's probably what we're going to have to do. Got some Zubas, got my hat, got my glasses. Let's go. Bill's comeback versus Oilers. 9 14, AFC wildcard game. 7 40, that's the other one. Fasten your seatbelts, it's playoff time. The Bills and the Oilers ready to get it on in an AFC wildcard game. And the road to the Super Bowl... Max! ...starts here at Orchard Park, New York this afternoon. The Bills will have to travel the long way to get back to the Super Bowl this year. They will have to right. travel the Taking these off. the Oilers this afternoon. And they will have to beat them without... Their number one man, Jim Kelly. Frank Wright will start at quarterback. For the Houston Oilers, it will be their top gun in the run and shoot, Warren Moon. So, as I said, fasten your seatbelts. It's time to play football in Orchard Park. The run and shoot never fired with more precision. 
Warren Moon completed 19 of 22 passes in leading the Oilers to touchdowns on all four of their first half possessions. So the Oilers were named the Texans, is that right? They don't play a better first half of offensive football than the Oilers have just played. Tom, it just, it just doesn't get any better. Backups have played a large part in many great comebacks. But for quarterback Frank... 28-3. Well, that rings a bell, doesn't it? I think the Patriots were down 28-3 in the Super Bowl 51 and came back to win. Let's see what happens. Much to overcome. So at halftime, the Bills found themselves in this very locker room down by 25 points. And it was here that Coach Marv Levy stared down at his players and told him, whatever happens, you guys have to live with yourselves after today. This is when the Texans sings. Turn out the lights, the party's over. But somehow the Bills didn't buy into the lyrics, despite what happened next. Right for the shotgun. Four man rush for the Oilers. Right throwing it to the right through the hands of McKellar. Oh no! Down the far side line. 40, 30. He misses the man there. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Well, you know, the lights are on here at Rich Stadium. Linball! You can pretty much turn him out on the. Uh, 35, 3. There's no way. Actually, the feeling that you had to have had was that your season was over, but let's go out like men. Let's go out fighting. And when we scored. A couple of times quickly, um, you say, "Well, we didn't get well." Then you start to, to wonder. Score another one, you say, "You know, we got more than a glimmer," and then it gains momentum for it. Far out. So this is the greatest comeback of all time. I see this. Uh, this portion of video is actually from a another DVD or video called "The 15 Greatest NFL Comebacks of All Time." This is number one. Now they overship. They give up the Carwell here. Now it's Davis running left. On the strong toss. And they got it. Oh, damn! That would have hurt that guy. But they got it. Yeah, Christy. The ball was back in Wright's hands, and four plays later, it was back in the end zone. He's open. Fourteen unanswered points. Let's keep going. Twenty unanswered points. No, you don't. By the third score, there's no question that uh, there was an anxiety. I don't know if you want to define it as panic, but there was a sense of urgency to do something and a realization that if somebody didn't go out and make a play and turn this thing around, that the momentum that Buffalo had gained now was had reached uh, overwhelming proportions. A Buffalo interception set the Bills up again in Houston territory. But it was a critical fourth down gamble that helped Buffalo maintain momentum. Clutch, baby. Clutch. Read. Houston's flawless first half execution transgressed into second half disintegration. Game of two halves, man. In the third quarter. That's what it is. Third bouncing their way, and that's just the way that game was. It makes you sick to be on the, on the losing end of a deal like that. 
We finally got it going in the fourth quarter after going in two times and, and three plays and out and drove it about 75 yards. But that's the one where we didn't put it in the end zone. And I think everybody's heart totally broke at that point when we snapped for the field goal effort and it went through the holder's hands and we didn't get it to see it come up empty handed. I know no. the so hey, we're in trouble. The Bills, meanwhile, could do no wrong. With stars like Cornelius Bennett, Jim Kelly, and Thurman Thomas on the Cornelius side, Bennett. Frank Wright continued to pay the comeback trail patiently, one play at a time. And with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the Houston Oilers watched their 32-point lead officially disappear. The throw, he looks, he throws. Oh, you're kidding. Can't they defend it? Incredible. Still three minutes to go. It is Bedlam. It is pandemonium. It is pandemonium. It is fantastic. Listen to this crowd. Can we get a do you believe it, man? Do you believe it? Sorry, buddy. The Oilers salvaged some pride after Juan Moon's passing put them in position to force an overtime period. Did they get it? Yeah. Overtime. Well, that sounds familiar too. But sudden death simply delayed the inevitable for the shell-shocked Oilers. Takes the snap, drops back, has time. Pick. Around, throws, yeah. Nate Odom's interception had the Bills poised for victory and realizing what they were about to accomplish. Best comeback in playoff history. Let's go, boys. Bring it home. One mere formality remained before the Bills could make history. Bills can win it here. Wright puts it down. The kick is on the way, and it is the So they don't get an opportunity to come back and score a field goal. Meant to be, just, buddy. Went through. Destiny. I was just overcome by emotion. I was just, you know, I guess I was just so thankful for the opportunity to participate in a game like that. To be part of it, you know that you're making history at the very time you're making it. Sometimes uh, you do something which has a store impact, you don't realize it at the time. In this instance, we did. Yeah. Wow. It was uh, uh, an emotion. Uh, after the game that I don't think I had ever experienced over a 40-year coaching career. In overcoming a 32-point deficit, Frank Wright and the Miracle Bills took their place in football lore as architects of a game for the ages. Nineteen ninety-two. Well, I was two years old, people. Two years old, and who would have thought 25 years later we'd be watching it here in Alice Springs on the 7th of September 2018, and here we are. So I want to say guys, if you have enjoyed this video as much as I have, incredible, incredible stuff. What, is it, what has he said? Has he said anything else? I'll put these back on. In the next video, I'm going to look at, well actually we'll look at it now, we'll try and uh, find it now. Uh, Buffalo Bills um, NFL Films I've seen Doug Flutie gets a call from the Bills I've seen that I want to look at Buffalo Bills um, fans Barstool Docks Bills Mafia that's what I want to see someone has actually recommended that Bills Mafia so with that being said in the next video we're gonna watch that one if you've liked this one please press like if you want to subscribe, please do. I'm on, I'm on cloud nine, man. I got the... F you know what? 
I'm going to have such an awesome collection of jumpers, I'm going to make sure I wear every single one of them to at least... Oh, am I going to be able to do... I don't want to make any really bold calls here, guys, but... Speechless, man. I, 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 don't, I can't say that I'm going to wear everything to every game. I don't know, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to have an amazing collection. An absolutely amazing collection. I already do. So, thanks guys. Just know that it's all, it's all appreciated and bring it on. Bring it on, baby. Peace out.